So when it comes to character being aligned with our, our essential core moral values, knowing who we are, what we stand for and what we'll take and what, what we believe that everybody's rights are, when we stay aligned, and they, these can be things like loyalty, courage, honesty, love of learning, creativity, wisdom. Uh, when you align with yours and when you exercise these things on a daily basis, this is what will truly empower your identity probably more than anything else, right? And when we apply these, notice how all these are interlinked because they're all part of the same thing, which is what we could say our, our identity based on our experience is. So a father, when you look at a father, what moral values do you want to bring to life through you as a father? Right. What core moral values do you want to align with and bring to life through you as a business owner or a friend or a partner or a colleague or any one of these roles? What do you want to experience more of? What's important to stay connected to when you run through these activities? It's just a beautiful way that each one of these bounce off one another, you know, and often just like doing different activities. So uh, I'll use boxing as an example. So doing boxing, right? A lot of people misinterpret that as like some aggression based, you know, um, hyper dominant type of sport or something like that. And of course there's elements of that within it, right? Because it's a very masculine kind of um, activity, right? Fighting in general. But what people don't r realize is in many of the best gyms in the world, there's a big sign that says, leave your ego at the door because it's not about coming in here and blasting someone it's not about coming in here and proving yourself oh look at me i'm the greatest particularly when you're training right particularly when you're developing skills it's really about leaving your your ego where it belongs sticking out the back being respectful being compassionate in many ways you know if you're sparring against a person who has got no fighting experience or got no none of those skills and you can take a step back and just be a little bit easier learn a few you know take a few blows you know so that the person can develop and learn and then hopefully when you challenge people or or uh, spar with people who are much, on a much bit greater level than you are have a lot more experience they 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 present to you in the same way. I lost my words there, but they uh, respect you in the same way. Now notice even something as brutal and violent as we see boxing is minimizing your ego, respect, honor, um, discipline, you know, being disciplined, learning to regulate and control your emotions. So it's a, it's a very, very important thing to recognize is that when we're developing and this is how they interlink when we're developing any one of these roles when we're developing in any activity that we do they require these deep and innate core moral values and they help exercise them as well and really bring them to life if we're if we have a certain level of awareness and we we want to develop as a person as a well-rounded grounded individual who contributes not only to self but to the wider world around them you'll see how this will really bring out the best